Hello friends, uh, welcome to Learners Planet. Uh, friends, in this session I'll be discussing uh, some doubts sent by the students. Uh, some students are still confused about uh, simple and compound interest. So let's take the problems. And uh, before you come for this session, do attend all the basic sessions of simple and compound interest. You must be knowing what is the difference between simple and compound interest. I just go for a quick recap. Simple interest is uh, that is interest charged per annum on a on an amount. Suppose I have principal P rate of interest per annum is r and time is t year so simple interest is p r t by 100 right and what is compound interest compound interest is nothing but interest on interest interest on interest now what happens suppose uh, you have any amount uh, suppose rupees 100 or maybe rupees 1000 rate of interest is suppose 10 percent per annum and time is two years right now in case of simple interest what would happen uh, principal 1000 rate of interest 10 time two years divided by 100 so total it is 200 rupees okay that means simple interest on 1000 rupees for 2 years is 200 rupees. Now this calculation whatever I have done after so much of practice and attending 4 full length sessions on simple and compound interest you should be able to do uh, able to make this calculation mentally. 1010% right simple interest remains same every year that you must be knowing right now principal 1000 rate of interest 10 percent so for one year the interest will be 100 rupees for two year the interest will be 200 rupees because simple interest remains same every year that's very important now what exactly is compound interest compound interest as i have told you interest on interest see what happens uh, after first year see 1000 rupees with 10 percent of interest you are getting rupees 100 as interest now after for one year your principal becomes 1100 rupees right 1000 it is a original principal and now 100 rupees has uh, also accumulated in your account right suppose you are not withdrawing this interest from your bank right suppose we take an example of bank you have deposited 1000 rupees at 10 percent of interest for two years right so at the end of one year what would happen your 100 rupees interest will also be accumulated in your account right so for the second year your principal is 1000 plus 100 that is 1100 okay now principal is changed initially the principal was 1000 now the principal is 1100 now at the beginning of second year your principal is 1100 rate of interest once again 10 percent and time for second year we're talking about so it's just one year divided by 100 so now interest is 110 rupees for the first year interest was 100 rupees for the second year interest was 110 rupees so total interest after two years you earned is 210 rupees because in the second year uh, you are earning interest on interest also right now if you wish to calculate it separately right what would what would you do just uh, see for the uh, for both the years simple interest will remain same 100 and 100 right now if we talk about compound interest what would happen interest will be earned on first year's interest also for second year uh, interest is same that is 100 uh, rupees this is simple interest for first year simple interest for second year in the second year you will earn interest on interest also right so 10 percent interest on this first year's interest so 10 percent of 100 is what 10 rupees okay so the total amount you are earning uh, as an interest in two years is 100 plus 100 plus 10 that is 210 right now many times question um, is asked like what is the difference between simple interest and compound interest um, uh, for the period of two years any amount is given now that can be calculated very easily in this particular case the difference is just 10 rupees 
right so suppose i take one more example maybe principal is 10000 rupees uh, rate of interest initially we take just up some something simple so i take 10% and uh, we have to find out difference between simple interest and compound interest for the period of 2 year now what would happen uh, every year simple interest will remain same so 10% of this is 1000 for first year for second year simple interest 1000 1000 now compound interest is what interest on interest of first year so first year's interest is 1000 10% of 1000 you will be earning extra so 10% of 1000 that is 100 right so difference between simple interest and compound interest is nothing but rupees 100 right so you don't require any formula over years good number of students has what is a formula for this and for 2 years for 3 years so you don't need any formula for this that you must be just knowing that interest on interest is compound interest right now same question if we extend to 3 years even then you don't need formula what you do take a simple interest every year will be 1000 for the period of 3 years then for this 1000 will be earning 10% of interest in second year and 10% interest in third year in the third year will be uh, gaining or will be uh, having 10% on the um, interest on this amount also this interest also so this is 100 okay i'll take uh, one or two more example do not get confused so 100 then in the third year this i'll be taking 10% interest on this interest also so that is rupees 10 okay so what is the difference between compound interest and simple interest this is simple interest and this entire thing is compound interest so difference is just this that is 310 rupees so you don't need any formula so for 2 years difference is 100 for 3 years difference is 310 rupees i just come here once again you just write down simple interest every year 1000 1000 1000 1, first year second year third year now when we have to write down the compound interest take interest on this 1000 rupees uh, of first year for next two years 10% 100 100 then for this in third year 100 then for this uh, 10% of this in next year okay similar way we can extend it also but generally in exams two years and three years this much is asked so what is the difference 310 rupees okay so difference between simple interest and compound interest for the period of 3 year it is 310 rupees for that we don't need any formula now see this question for what find the difference between si and ci on rupees 700 at the rate of 10% for 3 years okay so simple interest 700 10% it will be 70 rupees each year i write 70 70 70 for 3 years right now rate of interest 10% uh, what is the first step over here 10% of the 70 that is 7 in the first, second year and then once again in the third year right so on the 70 10% this is first uh, this is second year and this is third year so 10% in the second year and 10% in the third year then for this uh, 10% in the third year right then for this 10% in the third year because it is further an interest so 10% of this is 70 paisa so what is the total uh, interest compound interest if we talk about 70 plus 70 plus 70 plus 21 rupees 70 paisa and what is the difference 21 rupees 70 paisa So isn't it so simple? You don't need any paperwork to solve this problem, and you don't, uh, um, you hardly need paperwork, and you hardly need any formula to solve this sort of problems. Okay, if you are conceptually clear what exactly compound interest is, then you don't need um, any formula for this. One more problem on the same concept: if the simple interest on a sum of money for three years at five percent. 
per annum is rupees 1200 the compound interest for the same period at the same rate is okay so 3 years 5% uh, the total interest simple interest is 1200 that means 400 each year Sec first year second year third year now on the similar line we will take compound interest at the rate of 5% so 5% of 400 rupees 20 for the first year for the second year so this is 20 and 20 on this see so this 20 and 20 is for this okay then we have to take for this so further 20 then we have to take for this 5% uh, of 20 that is 1 okay so difference is 20 20 20 20 uh, 1 61 and uh, if uh, the simple interest is 1200 difference is 61 so compound interest is 1261 so what have you done just a very simple structure if you can see over here for this first year's interest write down the interest on interest for this 400 5 percent in the second year 5 percent in the third year for this second year's interest 5 percent in the third year for this second year's interest on interest 5 percent in the third year so this is the difference no formula required okay SI and CI on a certain sum for 2 years rupees 50 and 51 respectively find the sum okay SI for 2 years is rupees 50 that and uh, as I've already told you simple interest remains same every year that means for each year it is rupees 25 okay and uh, compound interest is 1 now compound interest is precisely what that is uh, interest on interest so it is interest on this amount in this year so this is one right now what is one uh, of 25 so that is 1 by 25 into 100 so that is 4 percent that means rate of interest is nothing but 4 percent okay why because this is what interest on interest that means interest on this 25 rupees right so interest on this 25 rupees is 1 that means rate of interest is 4 percent that means 4 percent of principal is 25 percent right 4 percent of principal is 25 rupees so principal must be 625 rupees okay so once again you hardly need any formula similarly let's see this one CI on a certain sum for two years at 5% per annum is rupees 164 then find the sum okay uh, simple and suppose I assume the amount is rupees initial uh, the first the sum is rupees 100 okay so at 5% per annum uh, the for two years 5% per annum I assume it to be 1000 to make the problem simple so 50 rupees is the in simple interest first year 50 rupees simple interest in the second year right now compound interest if we talk about that will be interest on interest of first year okay so 50 and 5 percent of 50 that is 2.5 rupees so this is actually compound interest right so that is 102 rupees 102.5 rupees and that is 164 okay because uh, we got comp we have been given the compound interest to be 164 so 102.5 is 164 then what is 1000 rupees so it is 164 into 1000 by 102.5 okay so can be calculated very easily Sixteen hundred rupees. Pretty simple. Do we need any formula? No. So what I have done over here, I assume the sum to be one thousand rupees and five percent per annum simple interest. So five percent as simple interest fifty rupees for one year, fifty rupees for second year. But we have been given compound interest over here, so that will be two point five rupees extra. So uh, two point five 
the total interest is 50 plus 50 plus 2.5 the total compound interest so that is 102.5 and we have been given it is actually 164 so 102.5 is 164 then 1000 is what that we have calculated that is 1600 rupees okay now a certain sum of money amounts to rupees 39,930 in 3 years at 10% per annum compound interest the sum is once again I assume the amount to be 1000 rupees so 10 percent per annum so it will be 100 100 and 100 you can assume it to be 10,000 also it, if you wish to make the calculation simple okay so this is 100 100 100 per annum then 10 percent of this is 10 and this is 10 then 10 percent of this is 10 in the third year then 10 percent of this is one so the compound interest is um, 331 okay 331 and that is actually 39930 no this is uh, actually amount so this is actually compound interest so the total amount will be 3000 because uh, principal is 1000 so the total amount will be 1331 principal plus compound interest and that is 39930 then 1000 is what okay now 1331 you can see this is just three times okay so that is 3 and this 0 30 into 1000 30000 is your sum now isn't it so easy and uh, we are doing this problem without using any formula so if you are comfortable in making this uh, I can say pyramid you can say pyramid also then the problem becomes very simple you may be asked uh, what is the difference between compound interest and uh, simple interest if the amount is 30,000 after two, three years so the same way you have to go uh, in how many years will ru rupees 2000 amount to 2420 at 10% per annum compound interest? Okay, maybe uh, just uh, we, we just start the problem. 10% um, is the compound interest. So for first year, the simple interest will be 200 rupees. For the second year, simple interest will be 200 rupees. We cannot go uh, beyond that because in that case, minimum amount will be 600 rupees. But we are bound. Uh, till 2420 right so it should not be more than two years now 10 percent interest in the on the first year's interest also so that will be 20 rupees okay now this is simple interest 200 plus 200 and this is compound interest 200 plus 200 plus 20 that is 420 so it is just two years pretty simple so in fact if you are conceptually clear you hardly need paperwork in the similar line uh, same line the compound interest on 30,000 at 7 percent per annum is rupees 4347 uh, period in years okay for first year simple interest will be 2100 for the second year it will be 2100 in all after two years it is 4200 so we cannot go beyond that uh, because we are restricted to 4347 because if we take the third year or even half year then at least uh, half of 2100 that is will be added okay so it's two years and uh, exact amount if you wish to calculate that also can be calculated on 2100 7 percent you just take it 7 percent out is a 147 so total it is 4200 plus 147 that is 4317 very simple Now, the difference between compound interest and simple interest on an amount of rupees 15,000 for two years is rupees 96. What is the rate of interest per annum? Now, that can be solved simply. Uh, we can assume the rate of interest to be 10%. By that, we'll be getting the idea what exact answer is, right? So, suppose 10% is the rate of interest and every year the simple interest will be 1,500, 1,500. And... Uh, uh, the 
compound interest will be interest on interest so that is a 10% of this that is 150 rupees so in this case the difference between simple interest and compound interest is 150 rupees so it cannot be the right answer because we want it to be 96 right and 150 is on upper side we want to be lower side so we have to go to lower side so your answer must be 8% uh, we just can verify it also 1500 8% that is 1200 1200 and uh, 8 percent of 1200 is 96 rupees so that's pretty simple so total interest uh, simple interest is 2400 and total compound interest is uh, 2496 and difference between the two is this figure that is 96 so immediately in 20 30 seconds you can solve this sum right now Amit takes a loan from bank at 18% compound interest for 2 years. At the end of the period, he pays back Rs. 6962. What was the loan amount? Okay, I assume the loan amount to be uh, 1000 rupees. Okay, principal to be 1000 rupees. So, 18% for first year it's 180, 18% for the second year it is 180, and 18% of this is uh, 32.4 rupees okay that is 18 square so 18% of 180 is 32.4 rupees so in our case the amount is uh, 1000 then this is 360 so it is 4 2 9 3 and 1000 so 1392.4 according to us this is the amount right and according to the question this is the amount so it is actually 6962 divided by 1392.4 and our amount is 1000 so this is the calculation we have to make so see 13 6 are 65 we have data more than 1300 and here we are having data more than 6500 so bright chances are there the cancellation will be 5 times you just can verify it also 5 times 1392.4 will be 6962 so your amount is 5000 rupees okay and if you wish to go by option you just choose the comfortable option right so from here we'll be choosing the option that is most comfortable either it is 4000 or 5000 suppose I choose 4000 so 4000 18 percent for first year it must be 720 rupees then for the second year it is 720 rupees okay then 18 percent of 720 that will be around 130 140 now this is 1400 plus around 1500 will be getting uh, so 4000 plus 1500 will be stuck up till 5500 so this cannot be the correct option right then you can take 5000 that will be pretty simple to solve 5000 uh, 18 percent it's 900 then 900 in the second year 18 percent of uh, uh, 9 uh, 900 that's 162 so very simply you can see 900 900 1800 uh, and uh, 162 so precisely it is 1962 plus 5000 so that is 6962 so I have told you the method from the question also like how could you go through question and how could you, how can you go through options so that's pretty simple I hope you are clear with both the ways if CI for a certain sum at 3% for 2 years is rupees 203 what would be the SI I assume the amount to be 100 rupees so 100 rupees 3% so uh, the uh, simple interest is 3 rupees for the first year second year 3 rupees or I can assume the uh, amount to be the initial amount that is the sum to be uh, 1000 rupees so 3 percent is 30 rupees and this is 30 rupees then 3 percent on this 30 that is 9 rupees I'm sorry no, 0.9 rupees so this is total compound interest if we talk about so that is 60.9 so 60.9 is 203 then 100 rupees a uh, 1000 rupees is what so that is actually principal that is 10,000 by 3 but we have to find out simple interest for 2 years so simple interest will be at the rate of 3% it will be for two years three
divided by 100. So it must be 200 rupees. Pretty simple. That is actually pretty much visible from here. See that is 3% and here we are getting a figure as 3. So precisely this breakup is uh, 100, 100 and 3. Right? 203. That means this 3 is what percent of this 100? That is 3%. Okay. That means the data is verified. That means the compound interest is 100 plus 100 plus 3. That means the simple interest must be 200 rupees. As simple as that. Right. So if, if it is clear to you, then this much work can be avoided. Right. Very simply in seconds you can answer. Right. If you are able to crack, this is 3%. Because see 2 years. 2 years when the problems are based on 2 years, the problems are really very simple. Okay. And this 3, this 3 and this 3 can be very easily correlated. So it is 100, 100 and then 3. So this is 3%. That is compound interest. Okay. That means simple interest is 200. Compound interest is 100 plus 100 plus 3, 203. The simple interest on a sum of money for 3 years is Rs. 360 and the compound interest on the sum at the rate of uh, same rate for 2 years is 270, the interest rate per annum is. Okay. Uh, see, for 3 years it is 360 and simple interest remains same every year. So, every year it is 120. We just have to go to 2 years because we have been given the compound interest for 2 years to be 270. Now, 240 we have already got. That means after 2 years... 30 rupees is extra added of as compound interest. Compound interest is interest on interest of first year. Right. So this is uh, 240 plus 30, 270. Now this 30 rupees is X percent of 120. Right. Because that is actually what thir uh, interest on interest. Right. So if interest on interest is 30 rupees, so on 120, 30 rupees is interest that is actually 25%. So what is the interest rate? 25%. So you do you need any paperwork? No. Pretty simple. The only thing you must be knowing is simple interest remains same every year. So uh, 3 years it is 360, then for every year it will be 120 and 120. Then compound interest portion, it is 270, we have already got 240, that means we are having 30 extra. That 30 is actually interest on interest of first year. So first year's interest is 120 and uh, on that 25% if we add, we get 30 rupees. So the total interest that is compound interest becomes 270, right? If the difference between the compound interest compounded half yearly and simple interest on a sum at 10% per annum for one year is rupees 25, the sum is. Once again, we assume the sum is rupees 1000. Now it is 10% per annum, that means it is 5% for 6 months. Right? Because see, compounding is done half yearly. So there will be two half years in one full year. So we just have to go in the same way. The only difference is the amount, the interest will be calculated on a half um, yearly basis right now 5% of 1000 that is 50 rupees for first half 50 rupees for second half now on this 50 rupees once again 5% interest will be charged because the compounding is done on half yearly basis so this is first half years interest so on this 5% so that will be 2.5 rupees so this is the total compound interest this is the total simple interest so difference is this so 2.5 difference is actually 25 so 2.5 is 25 that means 1000 is nothing but 10,000 pretty simple hardly need any formula if CI for a certain sum for two years is this then uh, B rupees this what is the principal I assume once again the principal to be 1000 rupees okay so 2 percent per annum simple interest so 20 rupees is simple interest first year 20 rupees simple interest second year on this 20 rupees 2 percent that is 40 pesa okay so total it is the compound interest is 40.4 and that 40.4 is nothing but 1010 then what is 1000 that we have to find out okay 4 
and this is 1 lakh divided by 4 so it is 25,000 pretty simple you hardly need any paperwork and formula I hope this much calculation you can do mentally the difference between CI and SI on a certain sum for 2 years is rupees 20 at 5 percent per annum find the sum once again I'll assume the sum to be 1000 rupees okay uh, 5 percent so 1000 5 percent 50 rupees and this 50 rupees interest on this interest at the rate of 5 percent so 5 percent of 50 is 2.5 rupees okay now according to us the difference between CI and SI is 2.5 and uh, according to the question it is 20 so 2.5 is 20 then 1000 is what so 2.5 and 20 it is 8 uh, eight times so 1000 will be 8000 so isn't it very simple uh, the difference between simple interest and compound interest on a certain sum of money for 3 years at 10 percent per annum is um, similar question only the data is changed once again we'll assume the sum to be 1000 rupees so 1000 rupees 10 percent per annum it's 100 100 and 100 then uh, 10 percent on this for second year and uh, 10 percent of this in the third year then 10 percent of this in third year and 10 percent of this in the third year so according to us the difference between compound interest and simple interest is nothing but 31 and according to the question it is 15 uh, the difference between simple and compound interest in three years it is 15 uh, rupees 15 pesa 50 so 31 is 15.5 okay then 5000 is what then 1000 is what so this is precisely 5 into 100 pretty simple 15.5 is half of 31 so half of 1000 will be 500 so very simply you can do this simple interest for two years on a certain sum of money is rupees 400 whereas compound interest is rupees 100, 410 do we need any paperwork for this for two years simple interest is 400 that means each year it is 200 now it is 200 so total is 400 and uh, we need compound interest to be uh, 10 so the difference of 10 I'll put over here right now this is what x percent of 200 okay this is x percent of 200 and what is that x uh, it's 5 percent that means the rate of interest is nothing but 5 percent so you don't need any paperwork to solve this sort of problems in the first line you just write down the simple interest in the second line you write down the compound interest so it will be very easy for you to solve right 200 for the first year 200 for the second year compound interest is interest on interest of first year and the balance figure in fact this is 400 but we want 410 so the balanced figure I have written over here and this uh, uh, remaining figure it's nothing but interest on this interest so that is actually 5% a sum of 4000 yields a compound interest of rupees 630 in 3 years 630.50 in 3 years interest being compounded annually the rate of interest is see we take a comfortable figure of from options maybe 5% maybe 10% now suppose I take 10% so 10% 10% 10% that is 30% 30% as a sort of uh, simple interest if I talk about 30% of 4000 that will be 1200 and our compound interest figure is 630 so and simple interest figure is 1200 so it can it's not possible even compound interest figure should be higher than simple interest figure so 10% is wrong option and uh, it's almost double of 630 1200 is almost double so just go to exact half check with 5% now suppose 5% is per annum interest rate then uh, 4000 5% simple interest will be what 200 for the first year 200 for the second year 200 for the third year compound interest 200 uh, 5% is 10 rupees 10 rupees and in the third year 5% of this and 5% of this so it's 
so the total to 630.5 so 630.5 so this is the correct answer okay this is the calculation of compound interest this is simple interest and if you are asked the difference between compound interest and simple interest for the 3 years then it is 31.30.5 uh, rupees okay now this question a uh, rupees 500 amount to of amount to rupees 583.20 in 2 years compounded annually the rate of interest per annum is once again we assume uh, the rate of interest from options so maybe a comfortable option i just take maybe 6 right now 6% for the first year uh, 6% of 530 rupees for the second year it is 30 rupees okay and the 6% of 30 is something around 1.8 so the total is a 30 30 we are just uh, falling beh uh, below uh, 83 we want 83 so 6 we have to go higher side i take 7% so it is 35 35 and uh, 7% of 35 the unit figure will be 0.5 so here we are getting 0 so it's not correct it take 8% so it is 40 40 and 5 uh, 8% of 40 is 3.2 so that, that is 83.2 83.2 so 83. so this is correct one okay the compound interest on rupees 32000 for one year six months that is one and a half year at 10% per annum when the interest is payable half yearly so you can assume it in other other ways so one year six months you can take it as three years and interest rate you can do half that is 5% the problem will be similar okay so 32000 for the first year at 5% it's 1600 second year 1600 third year 1600 and uh, then this is what is the simple interest now we have to do compounding uh, 5% of 1600 80 uh, second year 80 third year then for this 80 in third year for this 80 and 5% so it is 4 rupees okay so in all it is uh, 4800 then 244 pretty simple and if you are asked what is the difference between compound interest and simple interest for this amount for one year six month at 10% so that will be 244 rupees okay the compound interest on a certain sum of money for two years at 10% per annum is 420 the simple interest on the same sum at the rate of uh, for the same will be okay so i assume the um, amount to be 1000 rupees so 10% for first year so it is 100 rupees it is 100 rupees and 10% on this in the second year so that's uh, 100 uh, only 10 so this is actually 210 and uh, 210 is 420 right that means it is uh, double so in fact the principal is uh, instead of 1000 it is 2000 right now we have to find out simple interest for 10% for 2 years at 10% so it will be 2 years 10% that means 20% of 2000 that is 400 rupees right no formula nothing is required hardly any paperwork is required okay the difference uh, in sei and si or a certain amount at 10% per annum at this is principal amount is what okay i assume once again the principal to be 1000 so 10% per annum 100 100 100 then for this 100 it is 10 and 10 then for this 100 it is 10 and this is 1 so according to me the difference is 31 right and according to the question it is 620 so 31 is 620 that is 20 times right so 1000 will be 20 times that is 20000 rupees so principal is 20000 rupees okay a uh, 1000 is invested at 12% interest and interest is compounded half yearly at the end of one year so what you can do is uh, at the end of two years you just calculate and uh, do the interest rate as half right that is 6% interest for 2 years the same answer will be there so for uh, 
uh, we take simple interest. So 6% 6 of 1060 rupees for first year, 60 rupees for second year, 6% 6 of the 60, that is 3.6, right? So total is... Uh, One twenty three point six one thousand one twenty three point six. Pretty simple. Difference between simple and compound interest on a certain sum two years fifteen percent once again one thousand fifteen percent is uh, one fifty for the first year, one fifty for the second year, and uh, the difference will be because of this interest on one fifty so that is twenty two point five right and 22.5 is actually 144 so it is 144 so 1000 will be what that we have to find out okay so nine sixteen nine twenty five four zero zero so that is sixty four hundred okay Compound interest on rupees 2000 for 3 years is rupees 31.5.25 uh, the rate of interest is just take a comfortable option 5% so 2000 5% so 5% 5 of 2000 is 100 rupees first year second year third year then second year we want 5% of, uh, of that's uh, 100 that is 5 rupees then 5 rupees then 5 rupees for this just learn the pyramid 555 five, five, then 5 of this so that's 0 0.25 so it is 315.25 okay so 5% is the correct answer if you get the value more than 15 per 315.25 then um, you need to reduce the rate and if you get uh, less than this then you need to increase the rate so according to that and whenever you have options just choose the comfortable value right because the calculation becomes very easy if you choose the comfortable value and from that option if you get the correct answer then not to go further if you go uh, the answer more or less then you have to uh, check the other options accordingly right and I'm sure you might have got the concept of compute compound interest and simple interest. Now you'll be able to do, do the problems in seconds, right? You need to have practice. Take the problems from anywhere from the practice sheet. Download the practice sheets from site and uh, uh, do as many sums as you can. So the problems will be on tips. I mean solutions will be on tips. <laughs>